What's happening, YouTube? KP Tutorial 3. Yes, KP and KP equals KP or Kivi. Laying our foundation, aka it's GUI time. Right, so I'm basically going to be going line by line, okay? So you guys can follow along. All right, line by line. So you can code and learn as I am as well. So we're going to start with a builder.load string. Please import the imports above as this will help your program from not crashing which is always good all right if you watch my audio recorder tutorials as well you will um, know what i'm doing here okay builder.load string is so that we can use the kiwi language okay um, i'm going to make a class here which is going to take a screen all right i'm going to use screens so basically what's going to happen is we're going to flip from the first screen here okay and we're going to run the scan and then we're going to get our nodes on our um, on our local area network and then we're going to click a node that we want i.e. a pc or a mobile device which is going to take us to another screen and it's going to give us various options to perform on that client on that node okay so all we're doing at the moment is we're just going to create this class here I'm gonna call it MIT MS1 for screen one okay so we just do a self not in capitals feel free to pause so um, you can code along or just look up some of the code here so you can see what's going on okay this is just um, just the basic stuff just get this out of the way I am coding this line by line. I'm going through every every step with you. I could have cut this down and made it a lot easier for myself as well, but I don't want to cut any corners. Okay, so here we're assigning the variable SM to screen manager. All right, this is going to enable us to um, add various screens so that we can alternate between them. All right, so here we have, and uh, we have to name it MITMS1. Okay, that's brilliant. And now we just build our app class here, which will return our screen. And I just want to say a big thank you to Security Tube and Vivek Ramachandran for the uh, Python course, which was a sort of inspiration. Um, for this tutorial series um, he is the master I do I do um, I do think it's a good idea that you guys head over there sorry I'm talking and coding at the same time there we go def build yeah, I do uh, advise you guys go over there as a wealth of information and uh, he's a great teacher as well okay so we want to return the screen manager all right and if name equals main all right so we're going to get these um these little things out of the way so that we can just build the construction build the app the application for the gravis gravital gravital graphical user interface and hopefully um, you guys that are not familiar with Kivi can get used to the syntax of it and um, have a little play around. All right, I do encourage you guys, you can design it any way you like. You don't have to design it this way. You can make whatever you want. You can have a little experiment. If you've installed Kivi, you can um, go into the Kivi folder and use the examples and just see see what other widgets are there and see what you come up with. All right, be creative. Okay, so at the moment we've got a blank screen which looks blank. So, what we want to do here is start defining the structure. And we're going to take our root here. And we're going to put a box layout. And let's see here, we're going to put another box layout I'm just gonna stack them okay I'm gonna make this ID I'm gonna call it client box 
because this is the box that's gonna, uh, it's gonna contain our client information. Okay. And a few um, a few other things here, just sizing and things like this. You may want to adjust these settings for your screen. All right. This is going to be a desktop application as um, compiling Scapey um, is beyond the scope of this tutorial series. But if anyone is able to uh, um, comply, uh, comply, compile Scapey for Android, I'll be really, really pleased if they can come up with a, a way to do so. Because uh, that would be great. Well, I haven't got the time at the moment especially with making these tutorials but as we're doing here we're just uh, adding a label so that we can display our our um, if config output okay and we're assigning IDs to these device label it's a label for our device okay now we're gonna put markup here so that we can format the text okay we can assign different um, colors to the text we can make it bold italic underline it's a lot like html which you're going to see okay now we want a size hint yeah, we're going to make uh, horizontal one i think this is a default anyway but i'm going to put it there anyway okay and we want a text input the text input is so that we can input our interface name so that we can display the if config output of that particular interface name. I'm going to name this iFace name. And just to be consistent, let's put an underscore here as well. Okay. Once again, if you've got any questions, um, be free to ask. Um, and when I'm available, I'll be more than happy to answer them. I'm going to put a size hint here of one and we're going to do point 0.2 because we don't want it um, too high. We don't need a lot of space for this. We can put a default um, interface. If you're going to be using a, a certain interface over and over again you can just put a default interface in here which will be automatically entered. Okay and let's see what we have here we can have a multi-line so this stops it from having multiple lines and we set this to false obviously the interface name is not going to take up more than one line all right let's run that and we have an error which is brilliant invalid declaration double colon let's run that and we have this here now the reason it's in the bottom right hand corner is because the orientation of the client box should be vertical and at the moment it's horizontal right which is the default but we can change that after there's nothing to worry about now we're going to have another box layout okay and it's going to contain a button at the moment it may contain more than one button in later tutorials to do different things all right but for now it's just going to have this button and guess what it's going to do all you beginners out there i hope you're having fun i hope um, i've got some some new uh, starters to python um, i'm hoping i'm inspiring some of you to believe that you can do this okay because you can all you've got to do is put put the time in, put the work in, and uh, you'll get the rewards. Just keep at it. All right. So text, and we're going to put run if config because that's what's it going. It's going to do. Okay. And now we're going to have another. Actually, we're going to have a scroll view. Right. The scroll view, as you saw in the network scanner contains every node that's scanned on the network and you can flip through them and choose the node that you want to do a particular thing to 
and actually clicking the node will take us to the second screen which will be in future for uh, tutorials tutorials um, okay we do do scroll x equals four so we do not want to scroll horizontally all right we, we want to scroll vertically like so if you can see above on the network scanner that's exactly what's going to be happening with our nodes and we're going to assign a, a box layout which needs to be inside the scroll view and its ID is going to be nodes and its orientation is going to be vertical okay all right we're almost there and we're going to put a size hint here uh, one and none right so if we come down here basically that is the structure of the app okay if we run it we get an error brilliant that needs to be in quotation marks let's change this this is another good thing of me doing it live so if you guys are getting any errors or whatever you see I just figured it out in two seconds just look at the output work it out and you can get it now the reason that these are down here is because we have not put the orientation of the outlying box layout as vertical as I'm going to do here okay so it's this one here client box we want to put orientation and we want to put vertical let's just tidy this up and we're going to be doing some fun stuff later oh yeah all right vertical okay right and this is what we're gonna, we want to produce on the right hand side here label let's just put some text in the label as well so that we can see where the label is because uh, at the moment it's blank okay so there's the label there's a the text input there's the button we created and the scroll view obviously has nothing in it at the moment uh, we press uh, run if config obviously it's not going to run because the if config uh, function has not been defined yet but if you refer to tutorial one, the overview, um, it's going to be everything to do with that. The homework project, remember? Okay. The next tutorial is just going to be a quick rundown of defining that um, that homework project. Okay. And uh, outputting it to our label. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Next tutorial will be connecting the if config function to our button. If you like the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. I will appreciate it. The next tutorial is coming fast and furious. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.